Have you ever been troubled with negative thoughts before? Imagine you are complimented for your presentation or appreciated your for your work. Would you really lose your sleep on this? However, you will lose your sleep if someone criticizes you or insults you. Why do you think we give so much of power to negative thoughts? Turns out the reason why we gravitate towards either positivity or negativity is based on the influences we have in our lives. Positive influences can dramatically increase the chances of happiness. Negative influences will do just the opposite. They'll drain you out of your energy and pull you down in every single area of your life. So today I want to talk to you about recognizing these influences in your life. Let's get started. Hi there, I'm Aparna, your personal coach helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. If you want to make any kind of changes in your life, reduce your stress and start afresh, the first thing we recommend is that you recognize the influences in your life because often we don't realize how strongly we are affected by them. Also because generally these influences are developed over a period of time. So the best way is that you increase your awareness of these influences, which is why it's a good idea for you to write them down. Take a sheet of paper and divide it into two columns, positive influences and negative influences. Begin by writing down names of people or things that make you feel positive, inspired and empowered. Next, write down the names of people or things that have made you feel weak, worthless and depressed. For people or things which have impacted you both positively and negatively, I recommend you to write their names down in both the columns. Now, examine each of these lists. Why do they affect you that way? For example, when you see the positive side of the sheet, do you have a smile on your face? How do you feel when you see these names? Do you feel inspired? Did they teach you something? People or things in the positive side of the list have shaped your positive attitude and your sense of self-worth. Now, look at the negative side of the sheet. How do you feel when you look at this list? Try to recollect incidents or emotions that you've been through which made you put them in this list. Idea is not to make you feel bad about them, but being aware of how much these control your life. Now you need to spend some quality time with this list, filling up this list and evaluating it. So ensure that you do not have any kind of distractions while you're doing this activity. Once you're done, now figure out a way of inviting more positive influences in your life and reducing the negative ones. It may seem counterintuitive, but the more you have positive influences in your life, the more you will exude happiness and peace. Now, here comes the crucial part. There, there could be a few people that you care about who could feature in your negative list. The idea is not to cut them out, but to reduce your exposure to them. For example, if that someone is, is somebody who you are living with, then you can train your brain to resist the negativity with positive affirmations. I've already spoken about affirmations before, so check out that video. But if they are too hostile or depressing, then do not hesitate to cut them out completely from your life. Isn't that a simple exercise? You start by making a list of all the positive and negative influences you have in your life. Second, you're going to evaluate those. Why is it that you have put them in either positive or negative? And finally, strategizing in such a way that you increase your positive influences and reduce the negative ones. Remember, you cannot undo what has been done in the past, but we can always be mindful about what we do today and every day so that our current and future is effective. Surround yourself with people or things that enhance your happiness. And remember, you have the control and the power to make that choice. I'm hoping that you'll start this process today. And if you need any information, any more information on this or help with this exercise, then do not forget to get in touch with me. You can leave your comment in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm on. And of course, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me thank you so very much for watching i'll see you next week bye